One of my absolute favorite characters, love Usagi Ojimbo. Love them as a kid. All that cool Japanese samurai stuff there. Also, like, he's got a little older in my teens, very Kenshin like, so awesome to see him like that. If only we can have him battle him. But now we're gonna go black and white for this one. Show them both off. The box looks nice, very good. There he is in black and white. Do not adjust your TV screen. Very, very nice. Together, let's get to it. So here's Yosage Jojimbo out of the package. Pretty nice sculpt. He's got good articulation in his hands. So you can spin it. You can uh, have it out. And it's pretty nice. As you can see, it's pretty strong. He can do a line like, to be or not to be. Or just do a staring contest with himself. And he holds up really well. It goes side to side, up and down. You can swivel his leg. I mean, look, he bends really nice. Probably even have him do some like kung fu action. Yeah, I do like how his ears are kind of like a, a bandana or or you know a hairstyle. It's pretty nice. Really good design. You could swivel his his whole torso. I might even went backwards, but you could do that. Despite his outfit, he's got good range of motions. They said you can have him do martial arts moves, and he'd be able to get into those positions. He stands very very well, even on the soft surface as my table. He actually can stand up even on one leg and hold his position just fine. And you can put him in all sorts of positions. Good swivel on the head. All his joints move very smoothly. Really good paint job on him, especially in the face. They did a really good job to uh, accent his uh, details. It just makes me want to watch some of those old uh, black and white samurai movies or even martial art movies. So here's with him his other head. He looks really serious, just like his other one. But you can tell there's a lot of emotion. You can see the nice raised eyebrow. You can see his teeth. There's a lot of expression, just like those old silent films. So here's him sporting his weapons on his side. He comes with an elastic band, which at first I was worried that it, with it being black, it was going to cover up his belt. You can actually slide it underneath his upper torso, and it basically disappears. Because so I was like, well, maybe white would have been better to match the actual cartoon and his uh his sash or whatever around his his waist but uh black works very well as i said especially since it slides right into his upper torso even with it doing that it stays on nice and tight so i don't actually have to have his arm holding it up it actually holds up on its own just fine his sword sheath fits the weapons perfectly of course the the uh bigger one is going to be a little uh tighter but it does match the curve of the blade so here's his blades in black and white so here's with him with his two swords. He he holds them very well. Pretty strong. Good grip. Your hands easy to take off. Easy to put in. No worries. I mean the head always gets me a little nervous. But even that didn't really give me much trouble. Especially after you first initially get the first head off. After that it seems pretty relatively easy. So here's his other two weapons. They weren't as easy as the swords to get in his hands. Especially this one right here. But once you get it in his hand. They're definitely not going to fall out. He holds them very well just like the swords. Pretty nifty. Like his accessories. Let's see what he looks like with his hat on. So here's with him hat on. Obviously you would have to have his ears tucked back. I just realized now that you can actually take off his ears and put on, and switch them from one head to another. But for now let's look at the hat. It's really nice, detailed. I like the stylized line art on it and him in general. So I think they did a pretty good job on it. Let's go see what it looks like with his other set of ears on his, than this head. So here he is with his other set of ears. Fits nice and snug into his head. Now to, to take off the ears that were uh, that were down, they were a little harder to get off. But it, you just kind of wiggle it out; it'll just come out just fine. No need to force any of this stuff really in. Um, for some reason, maybe it's this angle or something. He almost makes you think of the Grinch. But there we go. So here's Yosai Yojimbo's little companion. He's cute and adorable. Kind of reminds me of a dinosaur, with, with but just with cute little buggy eyes. Pretty good detail. 
again really nice sculpt his details really do come out in color obviously there's not the same level of uh, line art as there is in the black and white one just like the black and white one his joints are sturdy enough to hold them just even on one foot on a soft table so that's always nice pretty strong joints but at the same time, still easy and, and soft enough that you can pretty much get him in whatever position you want. So his outfit really doesn't really restrict any of his positioning or posing. He's got pretty eyes. So here's his ears off. See, folded and up. The paint job on the up ears, they have it painted all the way to the nub when the other one really isn't, which makes pretty much no difference on uh, how it fits or it's what you can't even notice when you put them in. But just showing that off. The biggest difference I see between the two besides the color is this cloak that comes with this one now this cloak is nice to have it's basically almost giving him a second whole outfit and of course you can always put it on the black and white one so it's either the figures the uh band you put around his waist you have to tie it yourself so you can put it whatever knot style you, you wanted to put it in to me it kind of looks like he's either like a jedi or dark sith lord or something about using force powers so as i said the cloak could work on the black and white one just as well obviously you lose some of that uh stylized detail when you put this cloak on him but it's still it still fits him just fine and if you wanted to him wear it he can so here's the side by side comparison of the his accessories that come with him obviously colors on the right the black and whites on the left some of them do show detail really well in the uh black and white versus color but then you'll lose some effect from going from black and white to color so it depends on if you want the the colors to pop more show the detail that way or if you want the stylized the, the line art that really makes certain features pop more but both of them look really good they're as I said they're they're the same exact stuff besides the cloak so they do look pretty nice oh here they are side by side they both look really cool so as I said they're both the exact same articulation same pretty much everything obviously certain details pop more in the line art but then of course the colors obviously pop pretty well in the color version um same hands same weapons pretty much the same overall obviously you could tell their uh, pupils are different you get that little uh nice little dot in the center for the eyes for the, the black and white one versus the beautiful blue eyes you get in the the colored version so there is minor detail differences but that also plays into these different styles um whatever works best for you but i think both figures are great and i would actually recommend both of them if you can if not choose whatever works works best for you thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more uh ninja turtle and uh gnarly reviews such as this until next time cowabunga